Hello everyone, um, I would like to welcome you to a new series of my devlog videos. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about particles and how I have created them in Blender, in the Blender game engine, and um, how I use them in my game. <coughs> so let's jump into the game and look what the particles look like, and see what the particles look like. Um, uh, sorry for the frame rate. This is because of my other recording um, th that runs um, beside. <coughs> As you can see, here are yeah some particles. The stamps are emitting particles. Um, the flowers, if I jump on them, are emitting particles. In the background, I have some leaf particles that are flying down from the um, trees. Smoke particles if I, if I destroy something or make a jump attack on the ground. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like in the game. So, unfortunately, Blender that does not have um, a built in particle system for the game engine, and therefore, I created my custom particle system. It is written in Python, and um, it is um, an add on that, is th that can be installed. Um, via the Blender add-on system and um, hopefully it runs out of the box for everyone. In the near future I want to share um, m um, my particle system uh, and release it under an open source license so every everyone can use it in the Blender game engine. Okay, so I will open a new instance of Blender and uh, show you what the particles look like or the emitter. Usually if you are um, if you don't have uh, the add-ons installed, you won't find here anything. But um, now, thank thanks to the add-on, you have a new um, panel here and uh, can create particle systems with it. Okay, we will create it. Go to the texture uh, viewport shading and just say generate particle system. Um, you see that there are a lot of options uh, that um, yeah were created. Um, and let's see how it looks like in the game engine. So, as you can see, you have particles. Uh, just one click, and you have the basic particle system in the game engine that runs. Um, <coughs> I have created lots of options to customize the particle system, and um, what my particle system does, it sets up uh, all the logic that is needed, all the properties that are needed, and um, loads a particle engine Python file that um, yeah, is the particle engine itself. So if I make any changes here, um, all properties here will be updated. So if I, let's say, uh, change the amount, you can see it here, it changes uh, immediately with it. So I use this uh, particle UI to create properties and this properties um, customize the particle engine. Okay, let's see what, what we can do with the particle engine. Um, oops, you've seen the basic particle system. On the last layer um, I have lots of different um, particle types. Um, leaves, or feathers, smoke, um, stones and lots of different uh, particles that can be used and um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, You can create new particle proxies um, with the add new proxy then select the particle that you would like to add to the particle system for example um, fire. Is it a, a Does it run with the add mode or a, a shadeless or shaded? Um, this will decide which particle um, of uh, of these three um, additions will be um, yeah used. Okay, now let's see if something has changed. So you can see I have now two different particle um, proxies that are emitted. We can delete the first one. You have a little uh, icon preview here. Um, you have different uh, yeah, settings uh, for for the emission. If you set it to minus one, it will emit 
all the time so um, it won't stop you can say okay I want only to emit 20 particles press P and it's done um, all particles that are emitted are gone <coughs> um, we can edit and uh, say this is particle hard and shadeless okay so um, we can if we set it back to minus one it will emit all the time emission rate how many particles are emitted at uh, a, a tick so if I set it to one or at the second sorry this is for a second so in, in this um, case only one particle will be emitted for a second or 20 yeah, 20 particles uh, for a second the lifetime um, 10 so they die very quick I have a gravity setting I have um, an emission range setting so with this one we can say um, yeah, with what range uh, does the emitter have? So I will just um, look over all properties very quickly. The emission angle. Um, this way, they will emit in all directions, or uh, just in a cone direction. Yeah. So. Um, random orientation, particle rotation. This will be uh, we can see if we change it to let's say line. So usually they will be um, emitted with a random orientation. But if we turn that off, they just um, they will be emitted in in one direction um, or in the direction they are um, moving. And um, with Halo, we can set if the particle is always directly to the camera or not. So with um, particle rotation, we can add a rotation to the particles and create some yeah, random effect. So colors, um, we can create as many colors as we want. Um, the engine will um, yeah interpolate between all the colors over lifetime. So zero is at birth and 100 is at death time so we can create yeah, a custom color let's say red with an alpha a value of 100 you can set it to 50 and create a new one and set this one alpha to zero so we have oh sorry <coughs> a nice um, yeah transition between opaque and alpha values. Same goes for scaling. Um, I can set lots of different scale values and uh, these scale values will be um, yeah, transitioned very smooth over the complete uh, lifetime. We can um, change the, uh, the order of the scale values. Same goes for speed and um, a nice new option is uh, that I, that I've added is um, following. Uh, I will create a simple particle system. Let's say um, I will have an emission rate of one, and have a second particle system. This is a simple explosion particle. Um, so let's say. emission angle in all directions emit only 20 particles with a rate of 120 it's tested yeah so I have a very simple explosion so now I can say move it to another layer um, new emitter on particle death so here I can choose a new particle system and if I run this emitter on death time it will um, emit a new emitter with particles so um, you can create some very nice fireworks effects with it or other effects that you have, have in your mind um, yeah I think um, this is almost it um, you can create very uh, different effects 
um, just a simple test so you can see for example um, how to create a fire effect so let's choose um, oh, let's delete this one first create a new one generate particle system let's change it to particle fire and to add so now let's see what it looks like okay so now we want to change this one to a very dark yellow then to a yellow color orange color and this one will be almost black or black okay so now let's change the scaling let's delete the first one and make it a bigger size of one so here's a very simple uh, fire effect and um, yeah here's a refresh rate um, the refresh rate uh, tells how often the particle system will be updated so if it is set to one you will have a very smooth um, movement of the particles but this, this will cost uh, performance so you have the possibility to change the refresh rate usually I set it to two um, I think it works okay and gives um, not too bad um, a not too bad result three is already yeah, too jaggy and um, does not look so good but if the particles are very slow in their movement and very far away the refresh rate of three will be okay too and um, I have created some optimization um, methods for example frustum culling if the particle system is not seen it will be turned off so um, let's set this value to uh, zero and let's see what it looks like so usually now you won't have any emission but if we move it in we have the um, yeah an emission we have two different modes uh, the first one is pause it will ju just pause the particle system so um, the particles that are still alive will um, run out and um, no new particles will be emitted. The freeze uh, option is that all particles will be freezed at the position they have at the time the particle system moves out of the range. Okay, I think that's it for, for this video. I hope it wasn't too long and um, yeah, I hope you like the particle system. If you like this video please share it with other people and um, it would be yeah, a huge boost for me and um, if other people like it and thanks for watching and see you in the next video devlog bye